Welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset the ABS and the traction control life. Oh, welcome to Ecanic. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure how you can, in some cases, uh, reset the traction control and the ABS warning lights if they have come on after you have disconnected the battery or you replace the battery. So what you want to do is you're going to start the vehicle and then you turn the steering wheel all the way to the left and all the way to the right and you repeat that twice. Then you drive for about two minutes and that should reset that traction control like that comes here and then the ABS that comes on right over there. And uh, the reason why that works is because once you disconnect the, the battery, the vehicle, the ABS module uh, might not know the limits of the steering wheel, the position of the steering wheel anymore and it needs that input to calculate the braking and calculate the ABS anti lock brake uh, function. So once you start the car and then you turn the steering wheel left, all the way left and right, that resets that um, uh, the ABS and traction control life, light. Now that's not going to work every single time because some, in some cases you might have a bad ABS wheel speed sensor or you might have a bad ABS module or something like that or uh, steering angle sensor that's in here. So it could be a number of issues, and if that resetting it that way doesn't work, you're going to need to read the um, fault codes, and then once you read the fault codes, you'll be able to know exactly what is wrong with your vehicle. And that's it. Thank you for watching.